Blocks World, the home to memories, one of the greatest games to ever exist. But what happened? Why did it just go on a downfall so fast? Today I will be bringing you a documentary about the best game, Blocks World. Blocks World started off as a simple game and it had a simple journey at the beginning very stable life all kinds of people were were using their minds being very creative creating masterpieces i'm not lying masterpieces and it had a very strong community and everyone started selling models when you made a world or a model and you and someone bought it and you were and you became more more and more popular that's when the revenue started coming in you even got to well you you made a world it got popular enough that people would start paying to play it so then you started to get a very good revenue and that was your income and everything was well everyone got along there were a few I hate this person I hate this but it wasn't common at the time everyone was very simple and very very kind and they made friends in that game they would have fun and then then labs right there that was their vehicle that's what got them known if it wasn't for linden labs creed and blocks world no, everyone right now would be saying, "What's a Linden Labs?" But Blocksworld it, it blew up, blew up, and yep. So it was a very stable start, but it only got worse not long later. Not long after the community just started to separate and split up. After at least a year, it was already too late to fix. People started making their own government groups and started battling the other sides. And it was clear at this point, the war was just beginning. And a long war was about to start. And these were the sides of the communities. You were either a person who made amazing worlds. And the people who weren't as good as making worlds. They were like, oh, I hate you. I hate you. No, this person sucks. Don't play their worlds. And from the abuse, the people either disappeared, quit, or kept on making worlds. The second side was called, it wasn't called anything, but the second side was, you didn't even care. You just played Blocks World. And the third side was the people who, who were, well, um, who hate it. The people who made good worlds, they were jealous. So then, after that, the, the battle was beginning, and we were ready for something bad. And we only thought it was going to be a short war, but it lasted until the end. People began insulting 
being so cruel, making worlds of them, harming the person that they hate the most, and the people would either, well, if the people who were hated, they would either quit, disappear, or just, in general, keep on making worlds. But it got bad where the good people were like, I've had it. I will fight back. They fought back. They got hit. And they fought back. They did not give up. No one was winning and no one was losing. It was going to happen until there was a victory. Once that victory was made, that would choose the fate of Block's world. And affect Linden Labs forever. The war was a long lasting one. It lasted five to six years. But there was hope. And there was hope for peace. There were people who were rioting in the game for peace. And there were people who were rioting. War! 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 Neither of the riots would work. The war was going on, and it turned out the war, 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 we won. The riots were winning. So, the community, it worsened as the war progressed. I made this little animation. Not very good yet. But I made an animation of the community as the war progressed but the community is still together and the war has never ended but less and less people leave the war every day so it's not far from the ending of it because they want blocks world back in fact those are the riots now there's not much more riots saying war 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 we want war or peace, peace, please, please stop arguing, please stop fighting. In fact, most of the rights now are. Please, Linden, bring Block's world back. We want Block's world back. Block's world back. Block's world back. Here's the animation I made. On June 17th, 2020, the servers for Blocks World had shut down. No reason, though. And on July 2nd, Blocks World was later pulled from the App Store and Steam and the Play Store. And it was evident because towards the end, there were people making governmental groups declaring war, war on one another. And Locks World, the community couldn't stand it and Linden couldn't stand it. So it was, it was just destroyed. What became a simple game turned into a battleground and a historic peace. All because people didn't like it. Well, let me rephrase that. Because people were disappointed and jealous of other people's skills. There were threats going around. And it just... The, the community, as that war progressed, it, it was just shrinking at rapid rates. But there's still one question we all ask ourselves. Will the war ever stop? And will Blocks World make a return? This is a question we may never find out again. But we hope it is going to return. Although there is some... Rumor about a new Blocks World game coming in 2022.
in 2022 there is going to be a game called Retro World which is kind of like Blocks World 2. So let's read what it says if you go on the Blocks World wiki. Spoiler warning, this article contains a lot plot details about an upcoming episode. Well it's a game, but anyway. Retro World is a future Blocks World game and coming, coming in the mid 2021, but has been delayed till 2022. Retro World is like, I mean, unlike other games, this game is half Utopia and half RPG. Retro World allows you to play as Nano. So, yeah, it ain't gonna be the exact same as Blocks World, but we only hope it comes back. Because Blocks World, there was not no, no game like it. It was one of a kind. You know, this is what I find sad. We had the greatest game in the world. Some claim it's even better than Roblox. And we just used it as war. Now, Blocks World had a beautiful category of games. Ranging from beautiful programmed masterpieces to just some funny world that looks like it was made by a baby but you know blocks world had a lot it had memories it had joy that's the thing there were things that were deleted and forgotten some masterpieces in fact i remember one it was called Destroy the city with a giant glue ball. I remember that game. It was a very fun one. Whenever I never found it again, I just kind of forgot. There was this other one, which wasn't very popular. And it wasn't made the best. It was sort of funny. It was just called UFO. <gasps> And me and my friend, we used to play it and laugh because it would basically just be a tire that was stretched out and it would just fly and fling around everywhere. And there's this game me and my friend do. You go UFO. <gasps> and yeah, you have to try. No, actually, you don't even have to try anything. It just does that. But yeah. Blocks World took a lot down with it. I remember a lot of games. This is another funny story as I wasn't the best creator as well. But I still made some funny stories. And funny games. He one time wanted a motor, uh, motor cube. And I put a sinking ship block and, and sold it. And me and him were arguing after that because I accidentally put the wrong lock. But he actually still has some videos of those worlds. So here's those worlds. So I got Blocks World back, and this is how. I went to the App Store, I went under my account, and I went to purchase, and then I went to not on this iPad, and then I seen Blocks World after scrolling down a bit, and then I re downloaded it, but this is what happens whenever I try to reboot it. It just won't work, but I have a very good idea. If we can call Blocks World, and I mean a lot of you, I need all the people that want Blocks World back, I need you to all do me a solid favor. We must call Linden Labs and we must tell them we need Blocks World back. 
I'll put I'll put Linden Labs customer service right now. You should see it below. Please, please pause this video and go. And I mean, go call Linden Labs and just say, please bring Blocks World back. And we will get Blocks World back if we could do that. We just need to have enough hope and faith. If you want your memories back, then we must fight for them. No, this is not the Linden Labs war, but it's the Get Back Blocks World. It'll go down in history. Please, please do this for all of us. Good luck. I wish the best. And now time for the next part. Now, Blocks World, it's gone. But if we can do this and succeed, it could come back. But that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Um, there will be a few parts of this. Once there's some more updates. If you want to help. With the message. Please call the Linden Labs number. And. That'll do it for today. Just. Pray that it comes back. Please, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Stay safe. And again, thank you for watching and listening. The London Labs phone number will be up here. And yeah, here you go.